Hello and welcome to 2 Minute Design, I'm Dage and today we're gonna add some rain to this photo. I've opened this photo in Photoshop, you can download it for free using the link in the description. And first thing you need to do is to go to the layers panel and click this button to add a new layer. Make sure the foreground color is set to black, you can click this small icon here to reset the colors. And then hit Alt Backspace or Option Delete to fill this layer with the foreground color. Now go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise. And I will check Gaussian and Monochromatic and set the amount to 20%. But you might set it differently according to the photo you're working on. Hit OK. And as you can see, the noise we just created is a little bit too small. So you might want to use the Rectangular Marquee tool and select just a small part of this layer and hit Ctrl J or Command J to create a new layer out of this selection. Now hit Ctrl T or Command T to free transform, hold down the Shift key to transform proportionately and scale it up. Also make sure you scale it beyond the canvas size on the four sides and then hit Enter to confirm. Now you can delete the layer below and call this one Rain. Right click on the layer and convert it to smart object, that way we can work non-destructively. And then go to filter, blur, motion blur. Here you can set the angle and the distance as you want, so the more the distance is, the longer the raindrops will be. Hit OK. And with the rain layer still activated, click this button to add an adjustment layer and select levels. Hover the mouse cursor between these two layers, hold down Alt or Option, and when the cursor changes, click once to create a clipping mask. So now this adjustment layer is only affecting the layer below it. In the Levels Properties panel, you can drag this input slider to increase the intensity of the raindrops, and this input slider to control the amount of raindrops. This is starting to look like rain. Finally, activate the rain layer and set its blending mode to screen. Look at that. You might need to adjust the levels a little bit. And since this is a smart object, you can always double click on the motion blur to adjust it as well. Also, since rain is a little bit more random than this, you can activate both layers and duplicate them using Ctrl J or Command J. And then adjust the motion blur angle on one of them, maybe decrease it by 10 degrees and you will get a more random result. That's it. You know, there's an old saying that goes something like, do not fear your face, but face your fears. Now, how does this apply to what we just did? Well, it doesn't, but it just like, oh my 